it has been raining like crazy, like monsoons last night, unbelievable amount of water. So the trails might be flooded out and we may not be able to get too far, who knows? on the JL and we're adding another road trip to the schedule for this year. It's actually gonna be to go pick up the Jeep. I didn't really talk about this before, but I'll tell you about that a little bit later. We're gonna head up Island a little bit and meet up with Eric. We've got the crew, our air down, sway bar is disconnected and we're gonna go hit the trails. took one for the team there. <laughs> and that is why I'm gonna stick with GoPros and not buy a more expensive camera. <laughs> because this is a fairly major access road to some of our trails and that's basically how washouts happen is is the water spills across it and just starts carrying the road away Getting a good wash. <laughs> Holy smoke. So this river, this stream, this is normally just a little creek. Yeah. So this is uh normally just a little creek that we've gone through a couple times. And uh yeah, it's a little deeper today. Take it on water. Tuck and roll. Nothing to it, right? <laughs> Hubble. Hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to throw the GoPro, don't you? <laughs> you want to catch the GoPro. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> no, we ripped her up. <laughs> so we did have a trail that ran alongside of this stream before. 
so we're gonna go this way and maybe end up over here. When the new JL gets here, if I wanna continue to running these crazy tight trails, I think I might try to frequent something a little wider, at least starting out. Holy, look at the water. This trail, it's just flooded. Remember guys, when I said uh, one of the most important things for off-roading is to be prepared and bring all the gear. Well, uh, yeah, this is uh, we're not. This is where we got to get out. We're having lunch here, so I have in my back. I always bring my gum boots with me, so we're gonna just pop my hiking boots off, pop my gum boots on, and uh, maybe not have completely flooded feet today. Yeah, there's a lot of water out here, holy smokes. Let's go check out the river because I don't think we've seen it this fast or high before. Look at that. Take my eye off Eric for two minutes and look, <laughs> look what he's done. <laughs> oh, no problem, right? So uh, Shane in the silver Jeep doesn't have any lockers and I think we all used lockers coming through there. Well, I know I did anyways. <laughs> I, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Remember guys, always follow your spotter, especially when it's Eric. <laughs> Eric has never done us wrong. the winch remote. You're out. Thanks guys. <laughs> <laughs> Pin it. There you go. 
right guys, so as I mentioned earlier, quick update on the JL. I received a estimated shipping date. Apparently it's going to ship from the factory on February 12th, which is super exciting. I wasn't expecting it this quickly. I don't know how likely it will ship on that estimated date, but that's what the dealer tells me and uh, I'm hoping for the best. Now I didn't mention before, but I actually ordered the JL from a dealer in Calgary or just south of Calgary. So if you guys need a Jeep or anything Jeep related, Go check out Claire's Home Legacy Dodge, uh, just south of Calgary, pretty much anywhere in Western Canada, they will help you out. Scott there was awesome to deal with, and I can't wait to go out and pick up the new JL. So what is gonna be the road trip? Well, I'm gonna be flying into Calgary, we're gonna be driving down to Claire's Home, pick up the new Jeep. Of course, we're gonna be vlogging the whole time, but before we come back, we're actually going to go up to Northridge 4x4, just north of Calgary, and we're gonna do a little shop tour and maybe pick up a few things for the new JL while we're there. So from Northridge, we're gonna drive back through the Rockies. We're gonna go through Banff and back to British Columbia. Well, uh, back to Victoria. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those future videos. They will be coming soon. So what do you guys think are the first mods that should be done on a brand new, completely bone stock Jeep? So leave some comments down below. I'd love to hear what your guys' opinion are. I've learned so much just uh, from the comments you guys leave me and the conversations we have. And I do try to either answer or reply to every comment. And I find we get a lot of conversations going. I'm learning things, you guys are learning things. It's, it's kind of turning into a community here on the channel. So, you know, leave any comments, thoughts, questions, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at them. to the wheel and crew. Uh, Faye for running the other camera and making sure to get all that awesome B-roll and Chris for driving the Jeep and letting me attach the camera to it and Eric as always spotting us through everything. And Shane in the silver Jeep, which you guys haven't seen on the vlog before, for being such a good sport coming out on these crazy trails that we tend to run. We're just having a blast today. All right guys, it is getting dark. We are gonna head home shortly. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I would appreciate it. And it really helps my videos get noticed by more viewers on YouTube. And if you wanna see all the upcoming Eco Diesel JL content and road trips, smash that subscribe button. Join the community here, leave a comment or question, and I'll see you guys next week in the next upload.